Good morning, my people. Good afternoon. Good evening. Here comes another information from our Prime Minister, um, Simon Iba. He said there will be no protest until our declaration this year. Biafra is systematically existing in Nigeria. And we can't protest against the result of Biafra liberation. The hardship in Nigeria is as a result of the economic strangulation imposed by the Biafra government through actions and measures. And that has uh, led to many multinational companies fleeing from Nigeria, he said. News Fair records that the Nigerian Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress barely 24 hours ago declared a two-day protest in Nigeria on February 27 and 28 over the ongoing hardship Nigerians grappled with under President Bola Ame Tunubu. And yesterday I read a, a headline that said, why is it that uh, Southeast people are not protesting? Is it that they are not hungry or that they are very okay or what? The question remains, um, I mean, the answer to this question remains that there is God in Southeast. Even despite the economic strangulation of Nigerian government against that eastern region over time, Ndi Ibobo Ogo Matara Mineji Risheha, on our own we are okay. All right? Give Ibo person a gutter. Just give him time. With time, he will think out what to do with that gutter, and you see money will start flowing from that gutter. <laughs> It is, is it not God? It is God. Don't ask us why we are not protesting. Everybody is hungry, but our own hunger will make us multi-millionaires in the next few years. Yes, because we can't remain hungry. We must think outside the box. We must think out something to do so that this money will flow. Even this hunger will turn it to money. That's how we behave. All right? And then our Prime Minister is telling us that it is too high because the African government is trying to exit Nigeria totally after delegitimizing Nigerian government in that region. We are causing tension that is making multi multinational companies. They are going. Shell is on sale. Total on sale. All these uh, oil companies, they are packing up. Because we gave them condition which they refused to uh, meet up with. You know, we told them to come and sign with Biafra government. And the go Nigeria government told them, no, it is better they pack if they cannot maintain being under Nigeria. Nigeria is not the owner of the oil. Nigeria is a scam. That name is a scam. Um, that oil belongs to old eastern region people. And these people are called Biafrans, whether there are some sabotage that will say is a lie, and we are not Biafrans, we are not Igbos. Men, the general knowledge and agreement is that people from that eastern region moving down is Biafrans, and they are saying, No, help leave the oil alone. We have grown, we have known, we have wisdom now, uh, we can maintain, we can take care, we can manage our oil. Whether it is it is settled with you or not, that is what they are saying. And if you go to other regions, you see people hungry, very, very hungry, frustrated. People are showing frustration on their faces and they are already coming out to protest. Well, let me tell you that our government, Biafra Liberation, I mean Biafra uh, government in Exa say you must not do what? Protest. Because what are you protesting for? Are you protesting that uh, Tunubu gave you assurance that this will be okay? Or are you protesting that Buhari was doing very well for Nigeria? What truly are you protesting for? Are you protesting that uh, to, uh, P2B did not win and they gave the mandate to Tunubu and they all supported it in evil? Don't you know that the evil that men do live with them? The evil that Nigerians, the Yorubas, the Hausas, the Fulanis do will live with them perpetually. Yes, they will all be screaming. They will all cry out in pains. Because God knows how to suit the pains of his people. 
Yes, God is God of justice, and he was there, live and direct. And they, out of bigotry, uh, took the mandate that God gave Peter Obi and gave it to a miller car. The man said, the subsidy, a bam, subsidy gone. That was his first speech, not knowing the implication of the removal of subsidy, not having an underground plan, uh, you know, to make alternatives and to, you know, even to channel the money that the subsidy are saved for them. According to them, they say he saved some money. Where is the money? What are they doing with the money? These questions, you will never receive answer in Nigeria. So I am back to the person that was asking, why is the Southeasterners not protesting? They expect that things will be very difficult. Reason being that they blocked us economically, they blocked us agriculturally, they blocked us financially. They are blocking us. Hand block right matter that we should have been the first set to cry out. But how is it that you forget how God has led you in the past, being an Igbo person? How could you forget that, that there is God in your struggle and whatever you are doing? How are you forgetting that God has blessed the Igbos and made them a blessed tribe? How on earth will you forget that? You must not forget that, please. And uh, please don't join them in the protest. Why? Because if you come out to protest and you are from Southeast, there are so many militaries that are there with guns, very aggressive. Their brothers and sisters killed by Biafra Liberation Army, so they are aggressive. Do not come out for protest because they will shoot you in the name of their trying to um, control tension. <laughs> That's what they call it. You know, when they call, in, when they kill people in Lake Togate, it was like a joke. But those people they killed, they did not come up, and there was no justice for them. So Nigeria is a, 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 a jungle, a jungle survival of the fittest. Please, so save yourself the stress and the pains of gunshot. Please stay in put, stay and stay put. Don't come out a beer friend, Igbo. Don't come out. Let them do their protest and uh, let's see the result of their protest. God will continue to feed you, to be with you, and to make things easy for you as an Igbo person. Because only they said called lizard. If you get ants invested firewood, you have already called lizard. But when you say the truth at any given time, it does not matter who takes that truth or not. But God has seen that you have said that truth and he will protect you in time of trouble. God will protect the evils in time of trouble. But the saboteurs, he will not let go. He will not let you go. You will fall by the, side, the sword. Yet the sword of your enemy that you call friends, your frenemies will still kill you by their own sword in their own hand. And that is what we need to tell you this morning, urging you please stay glued, uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. God bless you.